This is a speeded up painting so that you can see the rhythm and patterns that you create as you are painting. You're doing it too. Let's get started. Speed painting. Speed painting just means that I've sped this up to 20 times as fast as I usually paint because I wanted to get a sense of the rhythm as I'm painting. And you might find this too. I know there are some people that paint one thing at a time, but you can see from this video that that's just not what I do. What I'm doing here is I'm trying to establish all the, as many of the mid-tones as I can, and I'm keying on those, uh, those red those red balls of candy because they are mid-toned. If you squint your eyes, you'll see they're probably about, mm, I'm going to think maybe a three on the value scale. And, um, and most of this painting is kind of between three and five, but I need to get a mid-tone in there so I know how to base everything. In other words, if I know the mid-tone is around three, then I know that anything darker will be four, five, six, etc., and anything lighter is going to be two and one. Yeah, or the white of the paper. I love when a painting is right here. That's when it feels really clean and really nice. And I almost wish it was done, but you know, it's not done. <laughs> so, um, so we go back in, putting in the grays and the grays are really appear um, almost white in the picture, but you can see that they're a value of around. That's where I'm going into the twos and the ones is anywhere that I see that's really, really light. And I haven't put any, well, there's some real, there's some darker darks in there, like on the foil, the dark foil of the red, candy and the blue candy above. If I squint, that's probably around the value range of five or six. Yeah, so I'm sticking to my value plan. But what I wanted to do is just sort of give you a sense of the rhythm that as you, it's almost, um, you can see that I'm, well, I'm flying through this. Like I said, this is 20 times as fast as I usually paint. But, um, oh, hair dryer. But, um, hair dryer for drying, of course. But, um, but that the emphasis is a little bit on the rhythm and making those value relationships as you go along. Now we're getting near the end. This is where I call fin final touches. This is where I'm going to put in my darkest of the darks and also uh, put a second coat on some of those colors. It's not going to change the value of anything at this point. Not really. What it's going to do is it's just going to make things a little bit brighter. See when that blue goes in, it gets a little bit brighter. So it's about brightness at this point, not about darkness or lightness. And I have videos about value and about um, the bright and dullness of paint. And that's just manipulating that, which, which is kind of fun to be able to, um, to learn how to do that at this point. So boy, it sure seems like when I'm painting, I go around and around and around. But I think that's what I really do. And if you do it too, I think you'll notice that um, after a painting session, this was probably two sessions, two sessions probably of um, 30 minutes each. Here's some real final touches in real time. Um, I, I find myself exhausted, but in a good way. And I, I always think that it's mental exhaustion, but when I watch the speed painting, I realize it could be physical exhaustion as well, because I've done a lot of reaching and stretching at this point. Um, and, and that, that, and, you know, if you find you're all reaching and stretching, but if you really think about it when you're painting, you know, you reach and stretch in really weird ways. Sometimes I'll catch myself in a position and I'll think this was probably not what my physical therapist had in mind. <laughs> so, so, but you know, uh, as far as I'm concerned, you do whatever you have to do in order to get a painting done. You know, the last thing I'm thinking about is, you know, my correct posture, even though I probably should. So, um, so that's a, a reason why I do um, my, my version of uh, yoga. You know, it's, it's, it's just uh, Jane Fonda uh, yoga for old people. I do that every day and I also walk every day and I also do some recumbent biking because I find um, this kind of work, this kind of slow, because like I said, now you can see it in real time. See the difference? Oh, it's slow going. And so, um, you know, you can really get seized up in your body. And that's the last thing I want to do because in order to do this thing, this painting thing that we love so much, you know, you have to stay in, in pretty good shape and limber. And, um, and so, and also it clears your brain, you know, clears your brain. This is sedentary work. And then the rest of the day, most of the other rest of the day will be active work. So, so that is my speed painting for the day, followed by this clip, which has been um, in normal time, regular time. Uh, although I would have worked quicker, this is the final touches. This is uh, the, the work at the beginning is, is, is faster than the work at the end. And there's the final piece, which I'm calling candy on parade. I don't know, kind of, I don't know. It seems like the candy is sort of um, having a dance party, <laughs> a Dick Clark dance party. <laughs> so remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paint's wet, mass for value, mix for color. 
Um, please join my YouTube channel. Many of you who watch haven't joined yet. Oh, please join. It would be so thrilling for me. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.